All right, everyone, you all need to calm down. You need to take a deep breath because there's so much going on in the game. So let's just take a breather. All right, hopefully you're feeling better because like I said, there's a lot going on in the game. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Army Gaming and I am going to help you get the brand new monster, the, be the brand new progressive monster for as little as 120 gems and roughly around 150 gems to 200 gems depending on how active you are and how good you are with your logins. So we're going to go over the monster specifically, the progressive events. And honestly, if you've done one, you've pretty much done them all. As long as Soldier Point does not change it the way they changed the maze and basically the monster ended up costing a lot more than before to manipulate, then everything should be the same and normal. So with that being said here, let's just exit out and let's quickly go through everything so you know you're not alone. And I feel like every single month around this time, right, whenever there's a new pass, whenever, um, there's, there's just a lot going on, right? Because when Soldier Point releases a new pass, there's the new free to play monster, there's the golden pass monster, there's the exclusive monster. So that's three new monsters in the pass alone. Not to mention there's always a brand new team race when a new golden pass comes out, right? So that's a fourth monster. Then there's a fifth monster in PvP. And then there's even this progressive monster right now if you click on the monster challenge. So there's a ton of that stuff going on. On top of that, we have this little mini choose your own path event where you can get Glob or you can get Blazinger assuming you've had the monsters previously, right? So yeah, like there's there's a lot and all of these have their own little timers and logins and everything. Um, Yeah, there's Shelly right there. There's a frat event going on as well. Um, there's just a lot of different offers. You're probably being bombarded with all of these things. There's a breeding event going on right now to get Undertaker or Gakora. There's this breeding event here to get Taijin, Cloud, Mr. Beast. By the way, you do want to prioritize this. You 100% want to prioritize this breeding event in my personal opinion. Honestly, the Team Race monster isn't that great. Assuming you're buying the Golden Legends Pass and you're getting Undead Mr. Beast, you definitely want to make sure you get all of Mr. Beast and his friends because take a look, you can actually get a free completely free again assuming you bought the golden legends pass so it's not free because you need undead mr beast but you can actually get a mr beast banner which is a phenomenal phenomenal banner it's basically charging banner on steroids times 10 it is incredible increases in maximum stamina and then the charging banner effect three uses it's crazy and all of these monsters can be red. So I would actually prioritize this event over some of the other things going on in Monster Legends. And so yeah, we have two breeding events. We have the race, like I said, we have so much stuff. We have the back to school events, the back to school challenge. So, so a lot of stuff going on. But here's the thing. Here is what I will say. Let's scroll up. We're gonna focus on how to maximize your cells to get this monster. Now, I already did an exclusive first look. There's gonna be a link in the description. I am personally, and, and I this I feel the same way about Vanos. I'm not a huge fan of the Pierce mechanic on monsters. To be completely honest, when you take a Pierce monster, they decimate legendary monsters. And yes, we still see Wormlad, we still see Gracon partnered up with Armor Claw, Brutalizer, Solar Flares. We still see that annoying dodge area taunt combo. But most of the time, you are fighting Cosmics versus Cosmics, okay? And if that's the case where it's Cosmics versus Cosmics, in my personal opinion, Vanos has never really been a threat. He only destroys me when it's a 150 Vanos and I'm bringing 130 monsters. Which, I mean, come on, there's that level discrepancy. If it wasn't Vanos, it could be anyone else. He would still destroy me. So when it's Pierce versus... When it's a when it's a 130 Pierce monster versus 130 Cosmic, and it's Cosmic versus Cosmic, I don't think the Pierce mechanic matters that much. So overall, I'm not a huge fan. Here's my bias. I'm not a huge fan of Vanos. I'm not a huge fan of this monster because I don't think the Pierce mechanic, given what they have is that crazy like okay they have a 30 damage aoe they have a 35 damage aoe they have a single 50 a single 55 whatever i don't think it's that crazy once we start getting a pierce with a single deny then i'll be a little more interested once we get removes positive effects like do you guys remember the legendaries dragar removes positive effects trade disables and stuns with a pierce it was like what the heck i think it pierced maybe he didn't pierce i don't know but like right now attack your pierce monster don't interest me too much okay Unless they have, they're strong enough to be able to OTK a single enemy monster without having that huge level advantage, I don't think they're that impressive, right? Because ultimately, if you remove the Pierce, then they're just a basic attacker. Now, they can reinstate the Pierce, they have other skills, but I mean, we honestly also live in a world where Megatons is a main thing, right? Everyone's running Bomb Beta, Daedalus, now the Spenders are going to be running Shelly, so... The best you're going to be able to do is single 50 damage an enemy monster, and you're probably not going to OTK. And sometimes it's better with your attacker to not have pierce and just... Like, the funny thing about having bomb beta 
and Vanos is that you have an elemental advantage with Vanos. So if you did your metal based AoE, you could actually OTK bomb beta, but because you have Pierce, it's distributed and then you can't OTK bomb beta. So I think that's funny. So yeah, I, my bias is I'm not the biggest fan of Pierce monsters. That's not to say they're not good. Again, they still destroy legendaries and if you have a level advantage, then you're gonna be you're gonna be good, right? The issue is you also gotta take this monster to rank three. Now, if you're a casual spender or free to play, you have to make the choice on who are you gonna spend on, who are you gonna invest your resources in, your starter, starter to super valuable. Do you wanna invest it in this monster just to get just to get pierced at rank three? And then you you fight a Tabor that removes your pierce. You fight an Ignis that removes your pierce. You know, you gotta be smart about your choices, right? So in my personal opinion, this is not a monster worth investing your resources when there's other monsters you can invest your resources in, right? You have the amazing Lindworm. I still think he's probably the best monster right now who's available to everyone. Aside from that, you have Bombeta. You need to get yourself a Megaton monster, right? So there's better monsters that are worth investing in, in my personal opinion. So with that being said, I still believe it is important that you get your hands on every single monster that gets released, especially if they're free to play, especially if they're available to you. So this monster, he's going to cost you 120 gems to 150 gems or a little more. I consider that free to play because if you just go through all of the events in Monster Legends, you can get you can get 120 gems easily, right? Like in a week, you probably get more than that, right? If you if you build your account smart enough, you can place in the top 5,000. Okay, not even counting top 5,000 because maybe maybe you can't even do that. But you could get 20 gems from the weekly challenges here. You can get your well. There's no dungeon right now, but you can do your hard dungeon and your easy dungeon and get gems there. So there's a lot of ways to get gems as long as you're not recklessly saying like, hmm, let me speed up this for four gems. As long as you don't do that, as long as you don't waste your gems speeding up these eggs, just wait till they're finished. Wait the 22 hours, the, the two insane days. It was not two days before. Just go ahead and do that. So we're not going to, that is ridiculous. My goodness. So we're not going to bother spending gems on, on skipping or any of that. So you can just completely ignore that and just save your gems. For these opportunities when a cosmic monster is released and you can get them progressive monsters again 150 gems is a good benchmark uh 200 to be a little safer this team race monster in my opinion is not that great so i would actually invest in other resources and maybe just hopefully as a team you can just get the 10 laps and get the monster but with that being said how do you get this monster well to be honest you can watch any of my previous videos you can watch my craster video you can watch um even my old mythic videos progressive events are very similar the way these events works is that every eight hours you can get six collect gold items for feed your monster items okay as you can see that's why i have 12 and 8. so six every eight hours when you first log in i did my collection and then eight hours later i did a collection not really i actually did four hour logins because i'm also getting um maze coins right now for the choose your own path events but basically it's eight hour logins what we like to tell people or four hour logins so the, the important thing is there's an optimal time when you should spend gems to move on to the next node now I've made videos about this in the past. I've made step-by-step -step guides. I actually recorded uh, the last one. Who was it for? Craster. I actually have recordings for Craster, but I'm not gonna mention them in this video. But I am gonna tell you guys to check out this Discord right here. This is the Monster Legends Guides Discord. Huge shout out for AK1234567989 for creating this Discord. Contacted me a while back, told me about the Discord. I thought it was amazing. The information on here is incredible. If you are not on this Discord, you need to join it right away, and I'll tell you why. So as you can see right here, if you want to get a 30 cells, only a 30 cells, which means a 20 and a 30, it's free. It is not going to cost anything. The problem is you can't get the monster with just 30 cells, right? So what you want to look at is this right here. If you want to get the 50 cells, which is a rank zero monster, and you'll get the chest, you get, it tells you exactly when to spend, right? So it's going to cost 32 gems after zero days and 16 hours. So by that time, you should have 18 collect gold items and 12 feed your monster items and three hatch your egg items. Remember, I said you can get six every single eight hours and the initial login, you do a collection. So that's six, eight hours later, that would be 12. Eight hours later, we're talking about gold right now, that would be 18. See how the math adds up? For feed your monsters, it would be four on the initial login. Eight hours later, you'd be at eight. And then eight hours later again for a total of 16, you're at 12. So it tells you when to gem. This is always the one I use in reference. So I'm going to spend approximately 32 gems. By the way, if you can't do the hatching, that's totally fine. The hatching does not really, um, it doesn't really increase the cost that much. So who cares if you can't do hatching? Sometimes you'll spend a little extra gems. On the 30 cells, you're going to use approximately 45 gems after one day and eight hours. It is important that when you spend these first 32 gems at the 16 hour mark, immediately you can do a full collection. So make sure you get that full collection. 
And then on 30 cells, after 45 gems, one day, eight hours. And then lastly, on the 50 cells, it'll cost approximately 70 gems. And you will get your 100 cells for this monster. The chest is free. You just basically collect gold until you get your gold item and you get the chest. It's going to cost 147 gems. This is assuming it'll take three days and 16 hours. So you have a huge buffer period, right? If you don't care about the buffer, if you're like, you know what? I'm super on it. I'm going to log in. I'm good. I don't need no buffer. Well, then there is another channel that we can look at. As you can see on the top, it says how to spend gems with no buffer. And if we scroll down, where is it? If we scroll down right here, take a look at this. Without any buffer, it only costs 122 gems. Three days, 21 hours, 20 minutes. So there's no buffer, okay? So you got to be a little more careful with your logins and time ins. I personally like to use the buffer because let's be honest, we can't do perfect logins. Sometimes you got to go to the store. Sometimes your Wi-Fi doesn't work. Sometimes something happens and you missed the login. Maybe you, you're behind by an hour or something happens. So that's totally fine. And, and yeah, the, the other cool thing about this server is I highly encourage you to check the left hand side where you can see all the different channels, but there's literally guides for everything. Look, there's a legendary GPM list. So if you want to see what monsters produce the best gold, you can take a look at that. If you want to see the schedule for mazes, you can do that. The different types of mazes in the game. Watch here is the schedule for mazes. When there's a discount, everyone's always wondering, Hey, when's the 30%, the 20%, all that information is on here. There's a lot of amazing tips. But one of the other things that they recently started doing is you can actually sign up for a ping. Basically on Discord, a ping, you will get notified when something happens. So there's actually a sign up for the progressive so that let's say you, you basically you'll get notified every single time you're supposed to log in and do a collection. It's really awesome. So I highly recommend you join this Discord. The Monster Legends Guide Discord is going to be a link in the description. Go through it. There's so much useful information. Like you, you just, you won't believe how much useful information is on here. There's even no sheets for the race. So if you want to prepare for the race, if you want to know what kind of um, nodes to expect, look, we, we get a good idea based on historic data, based on current up-to-date progress of teams that have raced, we, we can know. So um, let me see if I can even, if I can prove it by showing you guys my race right now. So here's my race right now. We are at six laps. We have a one for all, rank up 20 rare monsters, do your part, so I'll collect right now in a joint effort, feed your monsters. And look at that right there, lap 6.1, rank 20 rares, collect 1.74 million food, that's do your part, DYP, and the JE, the joint effort, it speed 7.41 million, see it is exact. And look, what's the next note? Craft three level six runes, a uh, OFA, so if I want to call it, I can let my team know, hey, I'm going to do the one for all next. Um, I can start putting, I can put three, I can put four level five runes and start getting that level six rune ready. Nine monsters need a craft, so I better start telling my team, hey, you guys better start crafting. Oh, 95 people need a hatch? Cool. So super useful. Please join this Discord. It is, it is the most valuable investment you can make. And best of all, it is free. So again, link in the description if you want to join. Now you guys know how to get this monster for as little as 120, 155 gems. Now you also know how to maximize your efforts in the team race. Again, you got to get 10 laps to get the monster for your whole team to get the monster. Use this to your advantage. You guys know how to distribute. Maybe you can be like, hey, you skip this node, you skip this node, and you guys can organize something over Discord and make it work. Get this team race monster, get this progressive monster, and let's do it. With that being said, guys, I'm Armor Gaming. Thank you all for watching, and remember to subscribe.